What is going on guys? Scott here from Horizon Bound. I hope you guys are doing well. I am doing terrific. So today I'm here with another install. I'm gonna be mounting the Prinsu top rack to the smart cap. And I figured since I didn't do an install video of me mounting my Prinsu to the cab of the Taco, why not do it with this guy? And it's gonna be basically the same, uh, a, a little easier in my opinion because you're not needing to take off the weather stripping of the cab but also it depends on your cap. Uh, if you have a Lear, ARE, any of those other brands, I'm pretty sure it works as well as long as you have the built-in tracks above. Uh, this is a universal um, mounting system from Prinsu, meaning you can adjust the legs um, inside, outside, and uh, it should theoretically work. So let's go ahead and get into building this roof rack. All right, so now that we have everything laid out, you can tell that we have six crossbars, two side rails, four mounting feet, four stiffening brackets, and a whole mess of hardware, plus two cool stickers. I then went and sorted out the hardware that went with the four stiffening brackets. There should be 32 carriage bolts, 32 black nuts, and 32 black washers. For the hardware that will be used to mount the crossbars to the side rails, there should be 26 black one inch bolts and 26 black washers. There should also be a packet of Loctite to keep the bolts tight inside the crossbars. For the mounting feet, there should be 4 mounting feet brackets, 18 washers, 18 nuts, 18 carriage bolts, 10 hex bolts, 10 quarter inch fender washers, and 8 anchor plates. Now that we have everything laid out, I'm going to go ahead and start adding the hardware to the 4 stiffening brackets. Stick the 32 carriage bolts through each of the holes on the 4 stiffeners. Then place washers on each bolt followed by the nuts. Go ahead and just hand tighten them for now. Next, let's go ahead and start building the rack itself by connecting one of the side rails to each of the six crossbars. Each crossbar will get two bolts with a washer in between each bolt and the side rail. I chose to place my crossbars in the long gaps in the side rails so that I can reposition them where they're needed. Go ahead and hand tighten the hardware. Next, we'll be adding the hardware for the stiffening brackets and the legs. Slide 16 carriage bolts into the T-slots of the Prinsu rails. Eight carriage bolts on one side and eight on the other. Depending on the distance of the rails on your cap will depend on whether you add the feet on the outside of the stiffening brackets or on the inside. Alrighty guys, so there was a little technical difficulty. So with the Prinsu hardware, you have your hex bolt, you've got your quarter inch washer, and you have your, um, your little plate that the bolt screws into. And obviously you have the washer coming up just like that. And then this would sit on that. And what this would be used for is for, if you have a Lear, an ARE, um, those types of caps, I believe the track rail on top of those has a square mount that this could just slide on into. But because I have a smart cap, they use this interesting type of nut um, that slides down the rail and this does not fit this screw. When you put it in, it's obviously too big. So I needed something that would fit this. Went to Lowe's and picked up an M8 um, bolt and that fits perfectly, which this is good. However, through here, it is not. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just drill out these holes a little bit bigger so that I can fit my M8 bolt up through here, through a washer and into uh, the special nut that is needed for my smart cap. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and start drilling these out. I started off using a regular drill bit for steel, but the edges kept catching when I'd lower the bit into the hole. So I switched over to a step up drill bit and that worked much better. Okay, well, that didn't work out like I had hoped. Uh, following Prince Who's Guide, they say to put the, um, the little brackets, the stabilizing brackets on the outside. Um, but with putting the feet on the Prince Who rack, they were just too short. I feel like if I had another half an inch to go that way, it would have been fine. But now what we gotta do is we gotta move this over here, this over here, and then that way we can have the the uh, mounting feet go out just a little bit. Um, so let's go ahead and do that now. All right, let's try this again. Now that I fixed that little mistake of mine, it's time to put the rack back on the roof. Leave the hardware hand tight for now. We'll tighten it all up in a bit. The next and final step is adding the last of the hardware. Since I had to go buy M8 bolts, I'm now adding those bolts into the smart cap nuts that are slid into the track rails. If you're using the hardware from Prinsu, go ahead and slide the anchor plates into position. Then with the hex bolts and a washer, start threading the bolts into the anchor plates. Once you have all of the feet brackets where they need to be, tighten the bolts down. Position the stiffener brackets up against the feet brackets and tighten those as well. Alrighty guys, so that wraps up the install of the Prinsu top rack onto my smart cap. Um, pretty straightforward install. I do recommend kind of putting it all together on the ground, um, putting like a furniture pad or something on the ground and kind of just doing it there rather than, you know, figuring it out up, up on top. Um, it is kind of light, so you probably could use one person, but I have my dad um, who was here to help me. Um, the only thing that I do kind of have an issue with, uh, not really an issue, just a, a you know, technical difficulty. Prinsu's hardware, they give you these little square plates that would go into the track of a Lear cap or an ARE cap, I believe. I could totally be wrong. Let me know in the comments if that's correct or not. Um, but with my smart cap, they didn't take those metal square kind of brackets to slide down the track. They have their own special nuts that go into the track. And I had to make a trip to Lowe's, get some um, M8 bolts. I think they're about a half an inch. Um, to put into the mounting feet and I did have to drill out a little bit of a hole you guys saw I made them a little bit bigger um, But honestly, I think that that worked out really good. They're in there really firm um, Another thing that kind of does Worry me. I might have to get some of the trim from Prinsu to run along the side of this um, When I open up my smart cap It just barely taps the glass so as you can see right here, it's just, it's just resting on it. Um, I'm hoping that if I put some of the noise wind deflector type strip that they sell on their website, just kind of run along the side, that will kind of cushion it just enough so that when this does open up, I'm not gonna worry about cracking glass, having to replace this. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please do a huge favor and hit that like button. 
If you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do, hit subscribe. Um, I do plan on getting, I have a rooftop tent on the way, so I'll be doing an install of the rooftop, rooftop tent on top of the, uh, the roof rack. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you on the horizon.